We are pleased to announce that Kila is debuting new donation and subscription forms. We wanted to make these forms available to you as soon as possible. So for this reason, we've broken this release down into two parts. The first half of this release is for donation and subscription forms, which are now live on your Kila accounts. The second half of this release will include new membership, custom, and revenue forms, and these will be coming out at a later date, so stay tuned. Rest assured, you can still create our original forms at this point in time. Now, we love our original forms, but we have to admit that these new forms are sleeker and smarter than ever. In this video, we'll cover some of the nifty new features in these forms, and we'll provide more details linked on this page, including relevant articles on how to build and manage these new forms. So let's jump right in. So by now you're likely familiar with our original forms, which can be embedded into your web page or function as a standalone web page. In addition to these standalone and embedded formats, Kila has also added the ability to create a pop-up form. By creating a pop-up form, you're going to create a button, and when you click it, the form will pop up on your web page. In addition to this new format, you can also choose between different layouts. Kila now offers multi-page layouts and one-page layouts. Keep in mind that the layouts available will depend on the format that you've chosen in the previous step. Once you've chosen your format and your layout, you can proceed to enter your form details and get started on the design and stylization of your form. You'll notice that we've consolidated all of the stylization and form details into a single tab, the Designer tab. Now, much of this functionality has been kept the same. However, there are a few new nifty items that we want to highlight here. In addition to accepting one-time and monthly donations, you can now also accept donations on a weekly and annual basis. You can also pre-select a default options for multiple areas of your donation form, including donation frequency, your donation tiers, and at each individual interval. And you can choose whether you want the cover processing fee to be selected by default. Now, I personally think that this is the most exciting feature that we'll be releasing with our new donation forms. By toggling on the ability to prompt recurring, you can nudge one-time gift givers to switch to an ongoing monthly gift to maximize their impact for your organization. You can determine the total percentage of the original gift to be suggested for the recurring gift and even set a cap at a certain transaction amount in which you no longer want to prompt recurring donations in place of a one-time gift. This is a great way to get new recurring donors into your database and have a re more reliable stream of donations. Our new forms also offer more customization for your thank you page, or now your post submit page. Here you can add your own text, your own title, and your own image. Or if you prefer, you can redirect the donor to a different URL altogether. This functionality is also available on our form close page. Here you can add a button to link to their website, or you can add or adjust your title, body, or image. Tons of donations are now taking place via mobile device. Want to see how your form will look to these mobile donors? Toggle the mobile view. Not too much has changed here in the settings tab but there are a few new functionalities to have under your belt. We know how important it is to manage and engage with your network. For this reason, we've added LinkedIn to our repertoire for social sharing. Here, you can indicate the description and a cover image that you want to provide when somebody shares your form on LinkedIn. Of course, we also have Twitter and Facebook sharing available as well. You can also indicate a default setting for recurring transactions. By toggling this on, you can allow for cumulative receding, and then you can select your default option to be pre-selected on your form. Is your donor receiving an advantage or benefit by making this donation? 
If so, this is where you can indicate details about that advantage so that it will be automatically recorded on their donation receipt. Now that was just a sneak peek into our new forms and some of its sparkling new functionality. You can continue your learning by reviewing the linked articles on this page.